Here's how to make a seamless movement transition like this. First, you need two clips. The first clip should end with a movement in one direction, and the second clip should start with that same movement in the same direction. In this example, I didn't follow my own rules. The first clip had upwards movement at the end, and the second clip had downwards movement at the end. So I took the second clip, reversed the speed, and flipped the image vertically to make everything work. And I actually like how it turned out. You can and probably should have both clips moving in the same direction, and it can be a pan, tilt, diagonal movement, whatever you want. Also, ideally, the general color of these two clips are similar, but if they're completely different, we can still make it work. Now that you have your clips, the editing process is simple. You can use pretty much any editing software, and for this tutorial, I'll be using DaVinci Resolve. First, if your clips have similar colors, a simple smooth cut transition might do the trick by itself. Lay the clips next to each other and cut where their movements are at similar speeds. This is how mine looks with just a smooth cut transition, which you can find a version of in almost any editing software. Pretty smooth, but we end up with some imperfections, so we can take it a step further with some masking. First, we'll remove the smooth cut, then let's bring the first clip above the second clip and extend both a few frames so they overlap for however long you want the transition to take. Then we're going to keyframe a mask on the first clip over the duration of the overlap. Let's start at the first frame where the two clips overlap, add a keyframe, throw on a mask, Soften it up and have it cover the entire frame. Then we'll go to the last frame and move the mask in the opposite direction of the camera movement. Since I tilted the camera up, I'll move the mask down until the second clip is fully revealed from under the first clip. This means over the duration of the transition, the mask will gradually move down to allow the second clip to show through. Again, this works with any direction. If you move the camera left, move the mask right, and so on. That's pretty much it for this transition. Check it out. This works with any aspect ratio, and if you're transitioning between two clips that don't have similar elements and colors, just make sure that your mask follows the movement of a specific element in the frame, so it doesn't just look like some weird wipe transition. If you have any questions or issues, let me know below and I'll help you troubleshoot. Thanks for watching. Beautiful.